Hey everybody and thanks for joining me today on Outside with Jeff. Today we're going to be planting these red potatoes and as you can see they have really shot out their runners. These are potatoes that I had harvested last year, saved in my basement in this little uh, soda container and just let them, let them take off. So we're going to go ahead and plant these in this raised bed. Today's February 21st. Uh, if, you're in a, in, if you have an in-ground garden this might be a little too early for you uh, because if you get heavy rains in the spring, uh, your seed potato can actually rot in the ground. But this is a raised bed, two timbers high, and it's about, the soil level is about 18 inches above ground level. So it's really gonna allow for good drainage. So I'm gonna go ahead and glove up and we're gonna start planting these potatoes. Now the only thing I've done to this bed is Last fall, I put a bunch of leaves over it, and then I just added about an inch and a half of my own compost uh, from our compost pile. So that's what we're gonna be planting into. And then what I'll do is, uh, after the plants start emerging, um, I'm gonna go ahead and come by and hit them with some more compost uh, as they start coming out. But let's go ahead, start our first one. I like to come in about eight inches or so from both directions and go ahead and go about four inches down and just put that seed potato right there. I'm gonna go ahead and make a trench that same about eight inches or so. Pull it all the soil back. Bring my seed potato in and I'm just going to set one of them down about every six inches or so. You wanna make sure that if you don't have runners, like if you got seed potato from the store or whatnot, you don't have to plant a whole potato. You could cut it into sections, making sure each section has a couple eyes. But I have an abundance of seed potato, so I'm just gonna plant whole potatoes. So I got those down, I'm gonna come back cover them up just like that and then like I said later on I'm going to be adding more soil on top next row I'm gonna come over about another foot dig that trench with my hands about three inches three four inches deep Grab some seed potato, and I'm gonna set them down there. Just like that. Come back by, cover it up. Now if you're in your area, if you're having any freezes or anything like that, that could continue to come on. What you can do is you can put straw. You can straw over these and it'll give you some really good frost protection. Since I know I'm gonna be adding more soil and we don't have any freezes in the two week forecast. It's supposed to be upper 50s. I'm not worried about that. Although in my shed, in my garden shed, I do have at least two or three bales of straw on hand. So if I was needing, if I was needing to do something like that, I've already got the straw. I could just come out after work and uh, easily throw some straw down wouldn't be a big deal at all. This is some really good garden soil. Planted sweet potatoes in here last year. Planted regular potatoes in here last year. Had a really good harvest on both of those crops. So really excited to see what kind of harvest we get this year. I also did some composting in place in this bed this past year, put about 
I'd say seven gallon of uh, kitchen scraps throughout the winter in this bed. Soil's looking really dark, really rich. Can't wait to see what kind of production we get this year from all that additional fertility that we've added. Got enough room here for a couple more rows. Gonna do one more row here. All right, all the seed potato here is red Pontiac. Like I said, I'd save my own seed from my potato harvest last year. And this would be the third year that I've saved my own seed. So I've actually not had to go out to the store and buy any seed potato for the last three years. It's been really nice. You don't have to wait for the stores to get in stock for you to plant. You can just do it when you have an opportunity. So that's all there is. There's no need to water these in. Matter of fact, most years, I don't even water my potatoes at all. There's enough moisture in the ground and there's moisture in that seed itself, in that seed potato. It usually doesn't require any additional watering. Fertilization, just that compost and the kitchen scraps I did over the winter, that'll be enough. I won't need to hit this with any 12, 12, 12, anything like that. Uh, I've got really good soil here and that's not necessary. So the only other step that I might do, like I mentioned, if, uh, if we get a freeze in the forecast, I might come over here and take a bale of straw, kind of cover it up. And then once we're past the all threats of frost, I could completely move that straw and uh, move that to a different section of the garden for weed suppression or whatnot. These potatoes are planted thick enough. They should do a good job at suppressing the weeds. And uh, this soil is really good and moist. It's been a couple days since we had any rain, but it still holds the moisture just enough. It doesn't waterlog, it does a really nice job. So, well, that's all there is to uh, planting potatoes in a raised bed garden. Hope this video was helpful to you. And I hope you'd consider checking out my other videos on my channel. Have a great day.